How's it going everyone? Arctic here and we're back with some more Fallout New Vegas and with a quick little update for the series and the channel. Uh, so I've decided on when every video I'm going to be uploading, what days it's going to be. So every Tuesday will be a Fallout video, so New Vegas and 4. Every Wednesday it'll be a Battle Brothers video. Every Thursday, every Friday will be Morrowind and then every Saturday will be Kingdoms and Castles. And if I do any other videos, it'll be thrown in with either on a set, uh, a Sunday or Wednesdays or Thursdays. So with that, let's just get right back into this. And we have a little friend over there. Wonder what these guys will attack without me interfering. Come on, hit Dean. You guys really not going to attack him? They're just like, ah, oh, it's just another resident. Oh, I crippled that head all right. He ain't going to be coming back from that. All right, anyways. How do I do this? Me all those. Let's take it. Good. Well done. Now for the festivities and your part in all this. Okay, what's my part in all the this? The owner of the Sierra Madre, for whatever reason, keyed the grand opening to the gala event itself. It needs to be far off in order for the casino doors to open. As I've discovered, one person can't do it. So get your team into position indicated on your pip boy, then trigger it properly. You're so close now, don't let me down. Otherwise, I'll have to rely on the next team. Well, we got this. I'll unlock the west and east gates to Cuesta del Sol and Salida del Sol. Now that you survived the villa, I need to get to my position. You don't need me to hold your hand anymore. I'll keep monitoring you via the transceivers through the villa. If I need to offer guidance, I will. All right, thank you. I'd suggest taking the FEV reject to his position first. Although you may need his brutality and strength elsewhere first. As easy as the villa was to navigate, the outline areas of the villa are far more dangerous thicker with the ghost people traps and toxins i'm sure use your team as i use you listen to your caller watch where you step you are no use to be dead well i would imagine Are we on our way to somewhere else? A gala event, perhaps? What do you know about the gala event? The gala event gala is the whatever. way to bring the old man out. He won't show himself until the casino doors are open. So triggering the event is key. And the key. The question becomes, can we trust each other to do this? We'll see. If we go there, you'll have to give me control. If you bring Dog out, then I'll make sure you pay in blood. Any reason why you're assigned to this point on the map? Maybe it's familiar, comfortable. Practice makes perfect. And as much as it bruises my ego, some things require brute strength. In the right combination. And besides, none of your assembled band of thieves look able to rip a 200-year rusted power switch down like a machete to fire up an entire town. We'll see. If it isn't the cl... Maybe dog... If it isn't the cl... All 
All right, well, I guess though with Dog, I could just send him out to go to this position all on his own. I like the whole, um, that they don't stay dead. Like, to be honest, I think that in other games, where you're attacking somebody with, like, a blunt weapon, like, if you're attacking somebody, like, in Fallout 4, or, Fall or even New Vegas, or 3, that you have a, yeah, there's a, ch uh, like, maybe a small percent of chance you're just gonna knock them out, instead of fully killing them, so that you can, uh, have to finish them off, or just leave them down. Ooh! Something Dude, just set me on fire. Out of my way, dog or a god. All right, I think he's dead. Okay, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, what do you guys think? Should they, in the in Fallout 5, or even Elder Scrolls 6, and Starfield, once they come out, should Bethesda make it so that, if you're using a blunt weapon, that they just have a chance to go unconscious? To me, I feel like that would make the game much more, uh... realistic because I mean not everybody in real life just would drop dead if they got hit with a baseball bat that one just set himself on fire almost I guess I should be using this more often than what I actually ever do. Oh God, God, you scared me. Something needs to die. Losing blood. You'll be fine. Poisonous over there. Where did God go? Yeah, well, he knocked somebody out over here. I better finish them off. Never mind. He's dead. Oh, no. Something over there. I see it. Uh, do I have anything else for healing? I guess just a couple stim packs will do. Uh, what's this right here? Did that clear out the gas over here? Oh, nice. And where did God go? There you are, God. Come on. So here we are. A row of switches all lined up. How familiar. These switches won't move themselves, after all. There must be some trick to it. Now that I'm here... What do you expect me to do? I need you to stay here and operate the switches for the gala event. <laughs> you can lead me to water. No. Being trapped in this courtyard while lights are flashing and sirens are screaming. 
I can survive one or two of the inhabitants. More than that, even Dog would have to work to keep full without being carved to pieces. And the gate here, if it somehow got locked, it'd be the holding cell of the police station again, except with no way out. I don't want Dog to have to deal with this. I prefer to deal with you. Really? And why is that? Dog is much more docile, obedient. I don't want somebody to be me. Because this requires intelligence and I trust you to do this. I can't trust Dog to do this properly. I can... Yeah, I do this much. You're right, but trust. Trust is such I a trust you, God. harsh word. I prefer. I mean, hell, after Mutual this, if you want to come hang out with me and go to the divide or with me or whatever, or finish no, the battle, the great war you. with me, I'll, I'll take you. These wiring diagrams. I know how to operate the switches in sequence to make fire appear in the sky. I... We just need to make sure that Dog doesn't surface before that happens. To do that, he'll need to be fed. That makes him stay in the cage. What kind of food should I bring back? Dog has torn apart a number of the inhabitants of this town. Well, he doesn't prefer them to other flesh. It'll do for the time being. Find some of the inhabitants. It'll require some hunting on your part. They're not easy to kill. But I have faith in you. And the beast must be fed if you want him to stay in this cage. All right, I'll go hunting, see what I can find. Two chunks of meat from their bodies should be enough. Hunt quietly, so as not to draw more here. Don't worry, God, I'll be back. Ooh, I could just lock him in there. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be mean like that. I like him. I really like the super mutant followers, like. I know there was a lot of followers I missed in my normal playthrough of this. Well, that's fine. I mean, I will be coming back to play do another playthrough of this game and just do like different things like become like super evil or be super nice because this i was kind of in the middle to be let's be honest so next time we play this ooh, what's this over here oh can i just give him some pork and beans 15 sashes around here which is pretty cool Stimpak in here, right? It's actually really cool that you can have those. Alright, let's go give him the remains. I'm going to do a playthrough for each of the factions, so Mr. House, uh, Yes Man, and the Legion. You better have brought enough meat. I can feel... You're good at fetching. This should keep him where he belongs. For now. I'll wait. Send the signal. We'll be ready. All right, nice. I really like this DLC. I will admit, they did a really good job with this game. I can't deny it any longer. It's Fall 4 is still my favorite, though. It was my first one to play. But hey, I this is still pretty good. Nope. Oh, I bet this is turning it off. Okay, so it's a really long one. Committee. I am not very good at these unless I have high intelligence and stuff like that. And 
Ah, whatever. Let's just get out of here. If I come back through this way, then I'll deal with it. Oh, it's just a rad roach. Oh god, I didn't see that. Ow. Somebody's just trapping this place up a lot. Any more food here? Food is very good. Food is good for the soul. Oh my god. Damn, traps are just gonna get me killed. Hell is the way out of here. Aha. Alright, well now that we have one person in position, we just got to get the other two in position. More chips. So, what's your story, beautiful? Don't, uh, don't talk much, do you? All right, then. I'll just wallflower it over here. I like Christine. All right, Dean. It's just you and me next. Was that him floating above the fountain, the boss man? The one who put these bow ties on our necks? Yeah. He sure does like to make a presentation. We should keep it down or else the ghost people are going to swarm the gates. Vera hologram or no. Know anything about this gal... Gala event we're supposed to trigger. Supposed to be the grand opening of the Sierra Madre. Lots of lights, music, the works. And he's going to use the gala event to open the casino? But that's interesting. Why is it interesting? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Maybe the drain in power. That'll cause the security systems to shut down enough to let us in. But getting back out? No, the place will close up tighter than an opening at the fronds. Or Danny Parker's sphincter when he has to tip at the door. Oh, 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 oh. I have to say that the uh, mature themes in this are... There's a lot of it. The gala events tied into the casino generators. How is the gala event? Why would the security shut down for the gala? Right, look, so not everything about the villa was the pinnacle of bright ideas. Okay. In order to pull off the gala, old Sinclair had to get creative. The Sierra Madre announcement, for example. Not just for the casino, not at all. The gala's tied to the casino, draws on its power might cause it to reset itself, open the doors for a bit like it was supposed to. That's enough I for now. Christine is looking at the fountain, her eyes narrowed. She then scans the courtyard perimeter, gauging the distance. She just glances at your wrist and back to the fountain. That's our captor. He likes giving orders. She circles her finger on the fountain and moves her fingers and thumb together rapidly as if talking. She frowns, stops moving her hand, then points at the pit boy on your wrist. Or the pit boy. Christine studies the pit boy intently, turning your arm around as if your wrist sent just modulus. She doesn't see the interest in the screen, but she studies the exterior, then the cas casing. She seems to make sure. Her finger stabs to the red button, narrowing an inch closer to the main gate. Frowns back out. 
so much reading, switching. Why do you think he wants you to go to the Pesta del Sol switching uh, station? She frowns and makes a motion as if typing at keys and she points at you, raises her left wrist. Oh my god. She smiles humorously, then she nods once slowly, then she shakes her head slowly. Alright, wait, who am I even taking with me now? What quest do I have? Well, now, if it's... According to the marker, you're slated for a spot in that place. No, looks like a rooftop in Puesta del Sol. In better days, nice view. Now, it's a lark. That place during spring, summer, and fall, a little bit in winter, is a prime resort spot for ghost people. If we're going there, I'm not going alone. And if you have any bright ideas, all right, well, let's go, Christine. She's, I, I like them all. They're all really cool people. Well, cool people and other things. Okay, sure, I'll take four more stim packs. I'm going to need it. I haven't really, I haven't used that many stim packs. I guess I really haven't found that many. Oh, 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 chip. I'm so amazed when I find the chips. I wonder if there's more over here. Oh, son of a bitch. Every time. Oh, chip. What? I'm going to keep my eyes open for these damn traps some more. I'm doing, I'm just going to get killed by them. All right, just you and me, girl. Let's go. Chips? Any chips? Hey, hey, fuck off! I'm trying to find chips. Oh, there goes Christine. She's just knocked out for a little bit, I guess. Oh, man, where the fuck am I aiming? He just killed his own friend. Okay, won't let me hit that one, probably because he's in midair. Okay, I'm almost out of bullets. Go back to the melee. He's dead. Hey, 
Christine, are you okay? She shakes her head, quick head gets quickly back head on her feet. Let's go. You're fine. Just walk it off. You already had your body cut up a little bit. I'm sure you can handle this. Food in here? Food, food, food. Pack of cigarettes. Just trying to keep an eye out for any traps now. Want to go this way. Christine's eyes dart around at the walls and the ceiling. She glances at the exit and then takes a slow breath. Swats appears. What appears on her brow? You all right? Where did that bomb go? Kind of wanted to collect it. Good job, you killed your buddy. Give you a weapon? There you go. I don't need you just using just that. There, the switching station. That's where you'll need to bring the mute. Hey, she has a name, you know. Up here we go then. Yes, here, yeah. All right. That does that heal me? It does not. So we need to do some repairing around here. Uh, so we need three electrical box fuses to fix it. Oh, I guess I'll just take this junk for now because I don't know when I'm going to need it. Take the conductor, take the conductor. Take the Mentax. Electric box fuse. Most of them I need electric box fuses. So far I have only one. So they're outside then somewhere. Right, I'm almost dead. If only I had Dean with me. Stop 
Um, I know it's gonna take a little while, so I definitely don't want that. Next one is this one. I like to travel along the rooftops. Seems like the safer path to go, to be honest. It's right in here somewhere. Ow. Gotta be an entrance into the house somewhere. Gotta be poison gas. In here. We are gonna be here for a while. There's a bed somewhere. I'm kind of fucked. What about food? Is there any food around here? There's lots of cigarettes. What, do people just eat that all the time? Is that why I'm seeing so much? Now can I eat the bubble gum? somewhere up there. I just don't know where. I've almost got a level. Oh, wow. Any food or anything up here? Can I sleep on this bed? No? Okay. Alright, well, I guess we can head back then. Can I sleep on this couch? No. Damn, I wish it was somewhere I could just sleep right now. Get back to the place and do the thing with the thing and then leave Christine there and then we had to have it back and grab Dean. Alright.
Oh, Christine, we gotta do something. There's really not much we can do. Can't really jump across. Could we? I love it how it says, Christine crouches down. Okay, so that's where we need to go. We need to get over to there. suits around here somewhere then? You hear a loud noise coming from the room to the west. It sounds as if the vinyl is made of wood. Nice. Cosmic Knight. What do I have for a ranged weapon? Terminal, very easy. All right, well, that's what you think, but I'm not the brightest bulb on the planet. Ten. Oh, it's not flat, not C. Not B. So it must be me. No. Eat. So it's giving you any more. Okay, cool. F E A T. So what words are left? Belt. Belt. All right, cool. Okay, nice, nice, nice. More into medicine. A little bit more into that. A little bit more into guns, and then... Ready to kill our intense training. Let's go with that. And then... 
Because I want to see what more of what Christine said, talks about. Come here, girl. I want to chat with you some more. Okay. You're a scribe? How the hell did you get out here? She shrugs and points to you and shrugs. Where were you before? She moves her fingers in a wide circle and then raises her hand. You were looking for something, you know? You were looking for someone. She nods and raises a finger. A man. She nods. She makes a motion with her hands around her chin, drawing it down and raises her hands and clenches them at the sky. An angry, bearded man. You're looking for a man in a vault? She shakes her head, points... Uh, <clears throat> You're looking for a vault boy? She shakes her head, points... Oh. She nods, looks concerned past her. Someone's smart. She nods and circles her ear. And nuts. She nods and frowns. Sounds like it's pretty important to you to find this person. She, she frowns, raises two fingers, and has them walk together. She looks down at the fingers, chops her hand. She caught you off of someone? She nods. Family, husband? Lovers. She makes a slow circle motion after a moment, taps her fingers. All right. Do some parkour on our way down. Wait, do we need to go up there? Damn it. There we go. Aha. Okay, so we want to go down then. Moving that close on. Wrong. Studies elevator frame, raises her hands and sets them down when I'm raising them up again. She does a silent sigh of ex exasperation, frowns at the elevator, and her hand brushes the side of her face, facing the star. I'm gonna remind you of being trapped in the auto dock. Let me see if there's another way that's sending you down there. Fall down. If I was more of a mean person, I would have just had her go all the way down herself. I 
I found a way to bypass him here. You should be able to just use the terminal over there. He nods straight. Yep, no problem. All right. that bad can I take Christine with me can I just take all three of them with me back to um uh to Las Vegas to New Vegas with me just take them out to the wasteland I can go leave Christine over with um in Good Springs God can just wander around the wasteland and then Dean can just go to the casino that way, everybody wins. Everybody's happy. All right, Dean. You're the last one. Well, now, if it isn't my bull... Strike up the band. Domino's back in town. All right, so where are we going? I think I'm slowly healing. Watch out if you see a prize lying around. The ghost people leave supplies as pets. Let's head through the hole in the wall there. If we go backstage, we avoid the locals. Any food, any food or anything. Ooh, chips, 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 chips. Not the types of chips I want, but they'll do. Well, that stinks. Cloud wasn't always here. Grew over the years, even without cars or factories. Okay, well, this is the other way out, but we don't have any keys. Chips. Jar of cloud residue. Where am I supposed to be heading? I am all about keeping low in this section of town. So let's see about that. Going to need a hand. where we make sure that they stay dead. Your marker's right. 
feast. Alright. We have to go that way. So what's my perk with him? It's 25% less. Don't dive in for too long. Only so much I can do to help. Scalar area. Now make him oh, stay. This is where I'm supposed to put on the show. Play. What's that there? Wiring? Looks. Looks. So what? I stand here, hold the two ends in my hands, and tap them together like symbols? could just jab both wires into you and close the circuit that way. If reconnecting the speaker is part of the gala event, yes. Look, I strike up the speaker system. There's going to be ghosts all over this place. Any, uh, the ghost people are not big on talking. They are big on listening, hunting, killing. More vicious than music critics, trust me. If I clear out all the ghost people in the area, will you change your mind? No, you want to know why? Because there's more beneath the streets, in the buildings. They hear anything out of the ordinary, especially music screaming through the speakers when I close them. Well, yeah. I mean, you're the one that's just going in, firing your guns and blazing. Make sure he's dead. Ah! Oh, I'll poke him, alright. Poke him so hard his head explodes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I already killed him. Door to Ruined Cafe. Water, purified water. Getting real tired of touristy. No offense, but you guys are lowering the bar. None taken. How do I get over there? Hmm. Don't dive in for too long. Only so much I can do to help. Check the fountain. Might have some wishes. Uh, chips we can snack.
Dean, you are so lucky I'm not a mean person, otherwise I'd be forcing you to do this. How the hell do I get over there? Oh. Where are you at, Dean? Well, now, if it isn't... You powered the holograms up well. I mean, you were watching me the entire time. Pretty good protection. Sure worked at the fountain, yet I kept the ghost people away. But, uh, how do I know the power won't suddenly... Varus stayed up, stayed powered up the bomb spell. Those holograms will do. Well, yeah. You got a point. Yeah. All right. Look, if the holograms are here to keep me company, then... But listen, when this thing goes off, try and get into the Sierra Madre without me. All right. The bell tower. That's where you'll trigger the gala event. It's a ways up. I'm sure you'll find a way to climb up there. Bell tower. I don't even know where that is. All right. Well, we're going to end this episode here because uh, we've been going on for almost an hour now. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see all of you in the next episode.